Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. This week, similar to my hairstyles video that I did recently, I'm going to do my favorite slash current makeup looks I've been wanting to try. I will link my hairstyle video that I did down below. A lot of the images I found were like images I had screenshotted off of like Instagram or Pinterest um, and this will be the same for all the makeup. Like I said in my hairstyles video, I feel like I never kind of give myself the time to like try out bolder makeup looks or hair looks and it was really fun to do that with the hair and then I just kind of had like a backlog of hairstyles that I know I wanted to try or that I liked and so it was super fun getting ready being like oh I kind of want to try that look or like wear that with this outfit so we're doing makeup in this week's video the first look is like a I had to look because I've been dying to recreate it it's been on my Pinterest board for forever and I'm obsessed with the hair and now that I have my like reddish hair going on I felt like it was perfect. So the first look that I'm going to recreate is going to be from the John Galliano 2007 Ready to Wear Runway. It's particularly this look. All the makeup looks and hair looks are so good from the show, but this look has been on my Pinterest, on mood boards for forever. And I've been dying to recreate it and do it and try it out. So we're gonna do it tonight. We're also gonna do the hair because I've been wanting to just like slick my hair back and cover it in gel. See what this wet look kind of looks like. My hair is just natural right now um because hers definitely has some like wave to it I'm definitely not as much wave as mine so we'll play around with that when I get the gel in there uh but we'll do the hair last already did my base for the sake of time because I know I'm gonna want to do a bunch of other looks within this video my base is always the same I've done my makeup routine in other videos it's the same one I will link one of my videos that shows my everyday makeup routine and it's just the base from that makeup routine if you're curious what products I used on my face but it's not that interesting I'm really not a makeup artist too here's the um, I'll say the disclaimer now. I'm not a makeup artist or really know what I'm doing. Um, I just love doing fun makeup and like to try to figure it out on my own. So let's see how we do. I have my girly pulled up on the Vogue Runway app, but in order to get like good face photos, I pulled up a bunch of Pinterest ones. This one's probably like the best quality image in terms of like the eyes, which is what I'm gonna start with. Kind of hidden to see what like the wing is looking like, but again, I'll have hair there. So. I'm just gonna have to improvise some of it a little bit. Oh yeah, I put on like a, a black lacy top moment, you know, to kind of give give this vibe. It's so not this dress, but you know, like the little short sleeves, like kind of, I'm obsessed with this whole collection. But anyways, okay, did my base. Think I'm going to fill in my brows, which I haven't done literally since I bleached them. I've done like a skinny brow. She, has filled in brows so i feel like i'm like scared to do that first things first we're smudging a lot of black into the lid let me should i low-key like zoom you guys in here yeah we're up close and personal everybody i think i might do this palette literally don't make fun of me i know it's so fucking messy it's the jaclyn hill morphe palette these two palettes these two morphe palettes i was literally gifted by a friend because she wasn't using them which was so kind this is a big look for like inner corner under eye moment that's where she's starring i think the rest is kind of like a smudgy black i really like this stone green metallic color and this black i'm gonna kind of like mix those i think i'm gonna put the sparkly green color all over my lid just so i'm not like starting out by putting black all over my lid i'll just kind of smudge the black into the green i think i'm just gonna pack it in with my finger because that always works the best. This look has a lot of sneaky metallics in it. And this color, I feel like is a good base for black. Okay, so that looks scary. I'm gonna do it to the other eye. Okay, this is gonna be a major trust the process moment, you guys, okay? Okay, so I just smudged it kind of, I just kind of blended it all around, okay? So that it's kind of in this shape, all right? Next thing is I'm just gonna take the black under and then start blending that up. Her tight waterline is also lined with black. It's just very dark under there, so I'm gonna do that now as well. The NYX Retractable Eyeliner in black. Just gonna smudge that out a little bit. We're just gonna put a lot of black kind of under the eye. Use a matte black shadow, by the way. Okay, beautiful. Now we're gonna do it to the other eye. Okay, and for my creative liberty here, I am deciding that the shape of the eye, rather than like a wing, is kind of a more rounded wing that's i'm that's what i'm deciding so i just started to blend the black into the green just a little bit and then rounded out the corners and then in the inner corner when i zoom in i feel as though i see a little bit of maroon like brownish orange like right here and then the like green am i tripping like i can't tell if that's what that is or if it's just the photo kind of but i think i'm going to add a little bit in the inner corner 
And I think I'm going to use this kind of brick red and it's also metallic-y. I'm gonna take like a little brush and then just like hit it in there. Okay, I don't think I hate it. Okay, I'm going to blend that out so it's not as like in your face, you know? So now it's just kind of like a whisper of that brick red. Okay, I keep getting like imposter syndrome. I'm like, girl, why are you doing a makeup look? Here we are, look at us. Um, I'm gonna do the green now. It looks like the green is kind of like from the brow down to where like the bridge of the nose starts. Very like light. I'm scared to do this because I'm scared it's gonna make it look cray. And then there seems to be some green under the brow. So I'm assuming like everything is blended like up and everywhere. It's not as like controlled as I'm like making it. Like I'm sure like this black like goes up. So I'm just gonna like blend them out I think more and create less of like such a harsh harsh line and then I'll do the green. Here's what we have. So now we're gonna do the green. I'm so scared for this. I'm scared it's gonna like look literally insane. I'm tempted to do this aqua. Like why do I feel like it's an aqua? But like I could also go like this green. Like a one of these girls. Like a this? This kind of looks like the vibe. This palette that my sister made me is gonna come in handy. Let me tell you something. Look at all these glitters. This green one. That was incredibly unchill. Thank God it's magnetic. Get into this. This is like the cutest gift ever. If like your bestie or somebody in your life loves makeup, what a fun thing to do. Customize them a little palette. ColourPop too, I love ColourPop. So affordable, great pigment. Unless, unless people clown ColourPop in the makeup community, I don't know. Don't clown me, please. Actually, sure, you guys can. I watch old school beauty YouTubers and then like I now I just don't and I need to get on that train because clearly I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Also, sorry if I still sound sick. I'm still sick. Right, let's do this fucking green. I want to use the same brush that I used for like the little the little bit of copper. So I'm just gonna be super lazy and brush it off onto my hand. This is also annoying because I don't have eyebrows. So it's like, mm, so I don't have that like thing to like mark where I should put it because mine are blonde, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I got some green on there. Ah! I ended up doing this, this green. It's like an aqua-ish Kelly green. You know what I think we need? I think we need a Q-tip. Okay, I'm taking a Q-tip, kind of cleaning up the black smudge that was there. And then I'm gonna re-blend it but I just want the green to pop out. Was that a big mistake? Okay, you guys, so I added the green here and kind of below my eyebrow and then blended it out and then I added some of my glitter. There she is. Jesus Christ, we're not gonna zoom in that much. Look, my bum ass makeup skills, are you for real? Me doing this thinking it looks sickening. Now we need to get that like iridescent under eye moment. It's definitely purple, but I also want to get this like silver glistening base before I add the purple because I don't want it to be like too purpley. Oh wait, also, I feel like I can tell you the names of the glitter. I can grab them. Yeah. I mixed Get Lost. It looks like this. Hungry Ghost. And then I did a little bit of Island Hopping which looks like this. And then gonna add the like iridescent champagne -y color, which I think I'll just use a like highlight color, which is Becca Champagne Pop. Applying it under my eyes. Okay. Okay, right now it's giving Kesha music video and I get that, but trust the process. I put that like iridescent champagne color under my eye and like on my cheeks. Now, this is the color that I'm so excited to use. It's the color pop, it's literally perf. It's this iridescent purple color with like blue shimmer and it's the color ripple, so cute. I'm going to take a really light amount of it and put it on the apples of my cheeks. Okay, I like kind of see it. Okay, come on color pop, this is pretty. I'm into it, I'm trusting the process. I think it's gonna look good once I do the hair. I might do the eyebrows, honestly. I feel like I might need it. Um, I'm gonna highlight the nose, the bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose, and highlight some other points. Um, it almost looks like she's like sweating and wet, similar to like her wet hair, but kind of like around her nose and stuff. It looks like she's sweating. So I might put a little highlight kind of around there. So I'm gonna highlight my nose now using, using my Becca highlight, which I use every damn day in Champagne Pop. I'm gonna highlight all up and down my nose. Okay, kind of put some highlight under my nose, which is a place that I never, I'm using the light from my the mirror. <laughs> I'm like trying to show you guys where I put my highlight. See how I kind of put it under my nose right here? A place where I always mattify. 
because I hate looking greasy there. And then on the tip of my nose, bridge of my nose, and then right here, which I love to highlight. And then I'm not worried about setting this. Right now is when I would set it. Okay, my camera died and I did the lips and then I attempted my eyebrows and I fucked them up. Jump scare. Like, hello? We need to do this hair look so I can cover these eyebrows immediately. I just did Revlon Black Cherry Lipstick, which is like such a good berry. And then like kind of blended it out around, but not totally. The shape of her lips aren't really defined. And then like, it's kind of like splotchy. And then I just added some clear gloss over it. I'm literally scared of myself right now, but let's do the hair. I'm realizing I totally forgot mascara. So I will add some on once I'm done with the hair. Because I have bangs, like these front pieces aren't the pieces that are gonna be able to cover my eye, obviously. So I kind of want to pull hair from like the back of my head down. But I think I'm just going to start by kind of taking gel, the eco styling gel, the clear one. I'm just gonna start wetting my hair. going to add mascara on right now. I'm just gonna use my L'Oreal Telescopic Classic Mascara. I think, cause I don't want this to be like clumpy and thick. I want it to be like stringy. I'm going to take my liquid eyeliner and then do like a drop of it in some water and then I'll do the tears that way. I'm hoping that works. Okay, now that we're in like not my room lighting, it definitely looks better, but we're about to do the teardrops and I'm scared. I'm gonna take this like angled brush, dip it in black eyeshadow and then water and then like trickle it down my face. You know, like kind of like that, but in a mirror and more focused. You know what I mean? Okay, that already looks kind of good. Okay, we're gonna do that. Okay, you guys, I'm not so mad at this. I'm kind of fucking with it. It definitely came out different than I anticipated, but I do like it. Love the purple. Doesn't really show up much on camera. I mean, you guys obviously know I'm not gonna wear this out on a Tuesday to get coffee with a friend, but like this makeup look, I just wanted to try for funsies. I think the next ones are gonna be definitely more wearable, but first one, success. Okay, hi guys. So we are back for look number two. Definitely gonna be a more wearable one. This eye look in particular, like a super powdered blue, or just honestly pastels in general, just like packed onto the lid like this. So stunning, so beautiful, obsessed. I love it with white mascara. I've done it with white mascara a couple times before. Here's some photo references. But all of these looks kind of have black mascara with it. The past couple times I've done like a bold all over the lid color eyeshadow with mascara. It always ends up being like, to me, looking like weird on me. We're gonna try and make this one work. Um, I also love how most of these kind of have like a berry lip. One where the liner is like a lot darker than the gloss, which I love. And so yeah, I think I'm gonna try to do kind of a look based off recreating a mix of these images because I can't just pick one. We'll kind of feel it out as we go. I did a bit more of like a neutral blush today on my base rather than using my Rare Beauty Nearly Berry blush that I always use like literally every day. I use a mix of these two Rare Beauty blushes. They're in Nearly Apricot, which is this one, and Nearly Mauve, which is this one. They're both stunning. So I mix these two blushes and put it more kind of on the apples of my cheeks versus like up here and keeping the face more neutral and peachy. But I think I wanna start with the eyes. I think what we're gonna start out doing is putting the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, I think it's in milk, all over my eyelids for like a very white powdery base. And then we're gonna like build the eyeshadow color around that. We've got that primed up. I think I'm gonna start packing on a little shadow. Okay, the thing with this is that I don't have pastel eyeshadow colors. Like I really don't. We can maybe call this pink a pastel, but like that's about it. Um, so I have to mix with white, which kind of sucks. I'm using my Morphe palette, I'm gonna mix the white with like a little bit of this blue. And we're gonna hope for the best. I did this last time I did any of my other pastel look. And I'm just gonna take that on like a fluffy packing brush and then I'm gonna start packing that into my lid. Okay, cute. I'm going to do that on this eye as well. Okay, so this is what we have. I think I am going to go up to the brow bone and take the product kind of up here. Not as much packing, but kind of like blend it out up there. Okay, ignore that I have to retouch my eyebrows like so bad. They're, they've got that salt and pepper vibe to them. So I'm actually thinking of taking some 
brown and then smudging it on like my waterline slash tight waterline and then a little bit above my lash my top lashes and seeing how that looks okay to smudge i'm just taking like a little flat brush and i'm dipping it and i'm gonna take my laura palette so i'm gonna mix able and espresso together which are these two colors no you guys don't understand how old and messy this is but anyways i'm mixing these two colors I'm gonna start by like applying some product and then kind of taking it with my finger and smudging it out because I I don't want to put too much. I'd rather put too little and blend than come in hot with the eyeliner and then fuck it up and then have to like reapply my concealer, you know? Okay, I really kind of like that center wing that she's got going on here. So I think I might drag it into the center of my eye. But instead of taking this brush, I'm gonna take like a really sharp angled brush. Let me get one. It's one of these guys, classic. Little trick I do is I spray a little bit of setting spray in the lid and get the brush wet. So then once I dip it in the shadow, it kind of becomes like a paste rather than a shadow. So there's less fallout and it makes more of an exact line that you can kind of play with. Kind of like dipping an angled brush into like a pot of eyeliner you know what i'm saying kind of wipe off some excess so it's not like thick and chunky and then hers kind of starts at like a down angle and i'm gonna take this brush and kind of like smudge it out now i just feel like it needs a little bit of a wing so i'm gonna give it a little bit of a wing okay we'll stick with that for now I'm gonna wing this side. So now this is kind of what we've got so far. I'm debating tight water lining with brown or white. I don't wanna rent. Let's try white first because I guess you can always go over it in brown. So I'm gonna take the NYX Mill. I always look so scary doing that. Kind of similar to the way Alexa Demi's is where her brown eyeliner is like under her tight water line. I think that's a slay. Now I think I'm gonna curl my lashes and do some light mascara and see if I feel like it needs anything, but I feel like I like this. Again, I'm using the L'Oreal telescopic mascara and just doing like a very light um, coat. I like it a lot. I feel like it needs a little bit something more. So I think I'm going to try just adding a little bit of bronzer like here and here. Just have my hula bronzer that's what i use to like put in my crease whenever i want something a little bit more than no eyeshadow like not like a crazy eyeshadow look it just gives your your lid some dimension i've been absolutely loving when people put eyeshadow right here i just love it i just think it looks so cool i think i'm gonna touch up the blue powdery white a little bit more and then let's do the lips making sure to bring the eyeshadow down to like my inner corner so it meets that like line that I did with the bronzer, which I think is cool. And then it kind of meets the line where the eyeliner is. For lips, I think the eye makeup look that I leaned closer towards those lips are a bit more neutral. I want like a poppy berry. So I'm, I'm definitely gonna do like Alexa Demi's lips with this. Okay, I love her liner in this. It's a deep berry, almost like black. I forgot that I lost my very lip liner. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is take another one of these angled brushes with my black cherry lipstick and I'm gonna use this to line my lips. I love this lipstick. I'm like genuinely obsessed with it. Okay, this is a little bit tedious and taking a while. So I'm just gonna put black cherry on and then take a Q-tip and wipe out the center a little bit. I'll show you. Okay, and I'm wondering if I take a little bit of black eyeshadow on this brush and kind of line my lips with it. I love with this eye makeup, how like light the eye is and how juxtaposed with how dark the lip is. Like I feel like that is why my eye is so like drawn to it. I don't know, I think it's so cool. I'm just using the black from my Lorac palette. I think we should carve out the center of the lippy. And I think I'm going to do that just by taking a Q-tip and wiping it. I think I might use this Milani Cheek Kiss um liquid blush but just as like a little lip product um it's in 160 berry smooth i've had this for literally forever and i don't really use it i feel like that will be pretty in the center of this low key maybe the lipstick will just stain my lips i feel like it carved out too much so i'm gonna touch that up okay i think i'm gonna put some of the lip stain dab a very little amount and start putting it on that empty space I like know for sure there are better products out there to like do this look. I'm just using what I have. I want to put a clear lip gloss over this. Here she is. I'm loving her. I love the light blue with the glossy like bold ass lip. Obsessed. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the the very light black mascara? Or do you think white mascara would have been the move? Okay, stay tuned to the next look.
but I'm loving this so far. Definitely gonna do these lips again soon. And with the eye, like I literally might do this look again. Wow. Good morning, everybody. We are doing our third look. I knew I wanted to do like an all white mascara eyeliner look for you guys, cause I love that vibe. Most of my references that I'm pulling from, um, it's particularly like this photo that really like got me, but I kind of just have the show up and I'm pulling inspo from like each look. It's the Christian Dior Spring 2006 Couture Show. The makeup for that show, was just so incredibly major. Again, I just started with my base. I do want to shout out my absolute like makeup muse these days because I am just so fixated on her TikTok and her Instagram. I'm genuinely like every single video I just ordered literally because of her, the e.l.f. cookies and cream lip gloss and a couple other things like a chrome eyeshadow. I hope that makeup comes in time before, like it should, that, like the lips, like the lip combos. Like I'm just obsessed. Like she makes me love makeup. Kind of have to, I don't have to rush this morning, but we do have to get into it. Let's get into it. Again, we are going to use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And today I'm gonna do my tight waterline, smudge it on my like lashes, and then line like the top. I'm gonna like not be shy with it because I like want this shit to pop. Kind of connecting both, not really like winging it out, but kind of like rounding it out on the corner of my eye. I'm now for the brown, I think I'm going to take my Hoola bronzer. I like that this is a little bit more on the warmer side. So we're using just the flat, flat little brush again and I'm just gonna go under it so what I'm doing is I'm kind of just outlining everywhere that I just put that white line it above the white eyeliner I just want to get this crisp outline down before I start like packing an eyeshadow and I'm gonna do it on the other eye okay I kind of like carved out both eyes go around with the white again before I start packing the lid with brown I think what I'm gonna do is go in with like a nice little blending crease brush. Start going into my crease with the Hoola bronzer and really blend her out. I think I'm going to take my white shadow and my Laura palette and I think I'm going to put it starting from the inner corner on the lid just to brighten up the lid and then connect the white situation that's going on. I think I'm going to take this cream color that's essentially almost all gone. Okay, listen, guys, don't yell at me for the look of this palette. Look at the shattered mirror. I know that's like really bad luck. This is not my doing. I'm not trying to put my mom on blast here. We had the same Lorac palette, and I use these colors a lot, and she uses these colors a lot, and we realized that, and so we switched makeup palettes. But her palette was fucked up. I don't know what the fuck she did. Probably traveling with it. Sorry, mom, I put you on blast. We're gonna curl our lashes, and then we're gonna do the white mascara. I still use the primer, so it's just the L'Oreal voluminous primer it's a good start but it's not enough like you can tell it's lightening my eyelashes but it's not like making them white so i do that to the bottom and the top i like to comb that out so it doesn't end up being so effing chunky and then the white mascara i'm using is the sunset makeup number 10 and i think one of y'all recommended this i love it the pigment is so good it is a beautiful white mascara the smell smells like liquid rubber latex again i don't know how good this is for your eyes necessarily so i wouldn't wear it all the time it's never irritated my eyes too bad and put the all over see how much brighter and whiter it's making my eyes also i always get mascara on my bangs i love the way the white lashes look on top of the brown smudge under the lash line like oh that is so good literally just a classic champagne color it's called champagne in this palette I'm gonna put it in the inner corner see if that does anything we need becca we need becca highlight out of my inner corner toe tip that nose highlight love for lips in the photo that i have it's just her eyes so i'm kind of going off the show as well in my like Vogue app. A lot of them had like a deep berry lip, but we just did that or they have like a crimson red, but then most of them have kind of like a nude, like almost like it doesn't even look like they're wearing a lip product. I'll, I think I'll do like a neutral lip. I might do this liner, this lip liner at least, which is NYX Intimidate lip liner. And I might fill it with just like my NYX butter gloss in Madeleine. Okay, I'm putting on a little bit of chapstick to like blend that out. I'm gonna put my butter gloss on. It's a little bit lighter and then that might give the lips kind of a similar-ish dimension to the eyes where, where we got like a lighter surrounded by a darker. Like that's kind of a fun repeat moment. I'm into this. I'll show you in different lighting now. Okay, here she is. I absolutely love it. Okay, you know how everybody's doing the kind of like, like I'm cold, cold makeup look on um, TikTok? 
This kind of gives like icicles, like snow on my eyelashes, like when snow falls and like catches on your eyelashes. It's kind of giving that. Obviously, like it doesn't have like the rosy cheeks and like the lip, like, but you could take the cold makeup and, and put it with this like mascara eyeliner look. That would be a moment. Mail. Hello everybody. So for today's makeup look, we are going to do this classic makeup look. It's classic to me because I've literally put it on like a million mood boards, a million decks, references for photo shoots, etc. It's this picture of Iris Law. I love the little blush. I love the sparkle on the lid. Think for the glitter on the eyes. So it's this one. It's this castaway. Um, so we're gonna use a little bit of that on top of the kimchi kind of like sparkly glitter. Start applying this on my lid. See it? I hope you can see it, my ColourPop palette. Just on my finger, I'm gonna pat some of it on. Okay, now we're going to take the Rare Beauty blush in Nearly Berry, and I'm just gonna put it, she has it kind of on the bridge of her nose a bit, and then I'm debating, cause like her blush is kind of centered up on her cheek in kind of little circles. I think what I might do is like, take my brush and like twist it, like on the top, so just kind of get a little bit on the brush, center it on that area. Okay, okay. Pausing because I'm putting my blinds down. You can kind of like see the circle imprint on my cheek. I'm just gonna kind of blend that out. Before we do the lip, I might curl my lashes and do a very light coat of just black mascara. Doesn't look like she has much mascara on, if any, but her lashes are like super curled. Again, gonna take my L'Oreal telescopic mascara. Okay, and then for lips, one of my favorite lip products is just the classic Benetton. You guys know her, we love her. I think it works best when you don't have any chapstick on, so like that's kind of the key, cause then it won't like seep into your lips as much. Just apply it to your lippy. I kind of center it toward inner part of my bottom lip, like where my mouth opens. And then once she's dry, I put on just some chapstick. And then I think I'm going to take, again, Milani Cheek Stain and use just a little bit. This color is in very smooch. Kind of dotting it all around there. I think I'm just gonna keep this and then apply my clear lip gloss, which is the Glossier. Just classic clear gloss. I really like the like obvious kind of blush on the cheek here. Super cute and a switch up from like all the other looks that we've been doing and it's so easy, so quick. Okay. Cute. Hi you guys. So I was going to wrap up this video, but then finally my elf shipment came and I got the few couple products that I wanted to show you guys and try out in this video. So I think I'm gonna do that and then wrap it up really quick. And I felt there was no better way to end the video by re actually recreating one of Eva's looks, especially a chrome one, just because I feel like she's putting me on. Anything she puts on her face, like I just die. I'm like, I literally need it. Like I've just never loved makeup this much in my life since I found her. I'm obsessed. I am starting an Aoife fan club and you guys should seriously, seriously check her out. Her Instagram and her TikTok will be linked in the description. Recreating this look um, and I'm very excited. So I just did my base. I think first things first, I'm gonna add a little bit more of my blush, which is just the Rare Beauty Nearly Berry blush. One of the new products that came in from e.l.f. is this metallic like eye shimmer product and it's in the color bling bling and I love it. I actually wore it last night to a Christmas party that I was at. I'm just gonna put it all on my lid and then kind of wing it out as best as I can. Like she made it look so easy. Okay the chrome product she uses is definitely a bit more pigmented than this e.l.f. one so I'm gonna have to play with that. Like I love the chrome coverage but the actual winging part is very hard. I'm breaking out so bad around around my mouth, which is so unchill. But I know she adds like a little bit of black on the end to kind of define the wing. So I think let's try that. She uses like a little brush, so I'm gonna use my little angled um, eyeliner brush. And I think I might just spray my brush with setting spray and dip into some black eyeshadow and then use that as my eyeliner because I don't really have like a chubby eyeliner stick like that. I'll also link this exact video of her doing this makeup tutorial as well. And she kind of brings it from down here like under the lashes and out which I really really like. Starts under my bottom lashes and out. That's kind of the vibe. And then I actually have this milk mascara that, that we can try out so I'll do a little bit of that. I don't want too much of a like thick eyelash, just kind of get them up there, get them looking flirty. And then the lip she did was a matte lip. I don't really have that many matte lip products, but I do have these Lim Velvet um, lipsticks from YSL. So I think I'll try to find one that kind of matches this liner the best and then do that. I'm taking the NYX lip liner in Intimidate. I'm gonna line my lips. Okay, that's it lined. It's definitely a bit darker than the color she used. 
kind of the closest thing that I have, unfortunately. And then I feel like this lipstick color would be the best. It's in 314. It's certainly darker than the lip color she did, but I like the matte look a lot with the chrome eye. And I feel like it kind of gives that same energy, even though I certainly like her lip combo better. But this is cool. I really like it. I think it could be really fun for like a holiday party, honestly. It feels minimal, but it also feels like a bold kind of look and moment. One of the other products I wanted to try on camera for you guys is the Cookies and Cream lip gloss that e.l.f. makes. I kind of want to try it just like over this. Oh my god, it literally smells like cookie. It smells really, really good. I kind of hate the applicator. It like comes out in very little, but I think when you apply it, it kind of makes whatever lip color you have a bit like deeper. Let's take this lip off though, and I want to try it without anything under. Okay, I wiped off that lip and then put on chapstick and I'm just going to apply the cookies and cream alone on my lip. I really like it. I, one, really like the smell of it. I like the consistency and like the texture of it. It's not too sticky, but it also doesn't feel like it's like too thin and will wipe off easily. I don't love like the wand of it. I love the color though. I definitely feel like it just like adds something deeper and like more mature and funky and like cool to your lip than like a clear gloss. And I love the sparkles in it. It's not like too insane and in your face, but to like totally wearable. Okay, well let me zoom you guys out. That's in. Because yeah, that was the last makeup look of this makeup video. I had so much fun filming this, even though I was probably anxious the whole time that every look was gonna come out like shit. But honestly, I'm quite happy with how they came out. Um, and this video was just genuinely so much fun to do and film. It's fun to play around with makeup, brings me back to being in like fifth grade and like pretending to be a beauty YouTuber and putting on makeup and filming myself and then doing nothing with the video. If only I started YouTube then. I swear to God. Again, I have a Pinterest board with kind of my makeup and hair inspo if you want to reference that or follow me on Pinterest for inspo there. I will link like each individual photo that I pulled up for reference obviously in the description. So they're credited in like clickable links that you can find and you can pin to your board. And again, please do check out Eva if you guys need some makeup inspo or just like curious. Like I, I can't stress it enough. Probably one of my favorite creators like of all time right now and probably forever on social media just in general i just love her content so much thank you guys so much for watching this week's video i love you so dearly and really appreciate you watching and supporting me like comment subscribe if you want to follow me on instagram if you would like i'm posting there all the time I'm sending you all my love and i'll see you in my next video bye cuties